Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's lecture on nuclear magnets and spin quantum numbers. This is an exciting topic that blends the worlds of physics, chemistry, and even medical imaging. By the end of this session, you'll understand what nuclear magnets are, how spin quantum numbers work, and why these concepts are so important in science and technology. Let's dive in. Atoms are made of nuclei and electrons. Inside the nucleus, protons and neutrons behave like tiny magnets due to their spin, a fundamental quantum property. This spin creates a magnetic moment, which we call a nuclear magnet. Think of it like a minibar magnet inside each nucleus. These nuclear magnets interact with external magnetic fields, and these interactions are at the core of techniques like NMR and MRI. The idea of nuclear magnets bridges the gap between quantum physics and everyday applications. Now, let's discuss what happens when nuclear magnets are placed in a magnetic field. They align themselves in specific ways. Imagine placing a small bar magnet near a refrigerator's magnet. It snaps into position, either aligned with or against the field. Similarly, nuclear magnets can align either parallel or anti-parallel to the magnetic field. This alignment depends on the quantum properties of the nucleus, specifically its spin quantum number. What is the spin quantum number? It's a value that describes the angular momentum of a nucleus. Different nuclei have different spin quantum numbers, such as 1 by 2, 1, or 0. A nucleus with a spin of 1 half, like hydrogen, behaves differently from one with a spin of 1, like deuterium. This number also determines how many energy levels the nucleus can occupy in a magnetic field, which we'll explore shortly. Nuclei are not just magnets. They also have electric properties. The distribution of charge within the nucleus affects how it interacts with its surroundings. Some nuclei have spherical charge distributions, while others are more elongated, like a football. These differences impact how they behave in both magnetic and electric fields, which is crucial for understanding advanced techniques like nuclear quadrupole resonance, NQR. When a nucleus has a spin quantum number of 1 by 2, it's relatively simple to understand its behavior. In a magnetic field, such nuclei have two possible energy states, aligned with the field or against it. These two states create the basis for many experiments, such as NMR. Hydrogen, with I equals 1 by 2, is particularly important because it's abundant in the human body and easy to detect. Now let's consider nuclei with I equals 1, like deuterium. These nuclei have three possible orientations in a magnetic field, one aligned with the field, one against it, and one perpendicular. This complexity allows for more detailed studies of molecular structures, but also requires more advanced techniques to analyze. Finally, some nuclei, like carbon-12, have a spin quantum number of zero. This means they don't have a magnetic moment and don't interact with magnetic fields in the same way. Such nuclei are silent in techniques like NMR, but still play an important role in chemistry and physics. When nuclear magnets are placed in a magnetic field, their energy levels split. This phenomenon is called Zeeman splitting. The energy difference between these levels depends on the strength of the magnetic field and the nucleus's magnetic moment. This splitting is what allows us to detect and analyze nuclei using NMR spectroscopy. The greater the field strength, the larger the splitting, making the signals easier to detect. The key principle of NMR or nuclear magnetic resonance, is resonance. When nuclei in a magnetic field are exposed to a specific radio frequency, they absorb energy and transition between energy levels. This absorption creates a detectable signal. By analyzing these signals, scientists can learn about the structure and environment of molecules. 
NMR is like a molecular microscope, revealing details invisible to the naked eye. NMR spectroscopy is a powerful tool in chemistry and biology. It helps scientists determine the structure of complex molecules like proteins and DNA. For example, if you've heard of determining the structure of a new drug, NMR spectroscopy was likely involved. It provides a precise and non-destructive way to study matter at the atomic level. MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, applies the principles of NMR to medicine. It uses the hydrogen nuclei in water and fat to create detailed images of the human body. MRI is non-invasive and incredibly useful for diagnosing conditions like tumors, brain injuries, and joint problems. Without the discovery of nuclear magnets, MRI wouldn't exist. Nuclear quadrupole resonance, or NQR, is a less well-known application of nuclear magnets. It's used to study nuclei with spin greater than 1 by 2. NQR is useful in material science and explosives detection. Unlike NMR, it doesn't require a strong external magnetic field, making it useful for specific applications. To summarize, nuclear magnets arise from the spin of protons and neutrons. They interact with magnetic and electric fields, creating unique behaviors based on their spin quantum numbers. These properties are the foundation for techniques like NMR and MRI, which have transformed science and medicine. Nuclei interact with both magnetic and electric fields. These interactions depend on their charge and spin properties. By understanding these interactions, scientists can analyze molecular structures and study materials at an incredibly detailed level. Let's recap the key takeaways. Nuclear magnets are tiny magnetic moments arising from nuclear spin. Spin quantum numbers determine how nuclei behave in magnetic fields. Techniques like NMR, MRI, and NQR rely on these principles to analyze matter. These concepts link quantum physics to practical applications that benefit society. Looking ahead, the study of nuclear magnets is evolving Advances in technology are making NMR and MRI even more powerful. Scientists are developing portable NMR devices and new imaging techniques for earlier and more accurate diagnoses. The future is bright for applications of nuclear magnets in science, medicine, and beyond. Thank you for joining this lecture. I hope you found it insightful and engaging. See you in the next session.